Bombshell news as Alice Cooper wrecks Amber Heard's PR and the mainstream media. How well he does a first ever interview talking about what happened with Johnny Depp and he sets the record straight. See, her PR team decided to shop this insane tale that took advantage of a health scare that JD had. See, they promoted this as an addiction issue, basically getting the mainstream to sign off on something that, well, you could tell wasn't true. Cooper goes on record saying, yeah, all of that, that wasn't right at all. You and I, we're going to talk about this and much more today. Ah, this really is fun times. It is fun times indeed. All right, so hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing excellently. So check out this series of bombshells that Alice Cooper ends up dropping with Heavy Magazine. I'll link this interview in the description, by the way, but check this one out. The first part, there are a few of these, by the way. This is about his health. How's, um, how's Johnny? There's reports over here that Johnny fell sick during one of the shows. Is he okay? Yeah, he got to, he had an acid reflux thing that that was really really bad. And so that narrative that they produce, the thing that they start talking about, substance issues, the fact that well he can't be on tour. There's all of these problems, and again, you could tell that this it was promoted by AH's PR. I mean, you could see it. You could see the accounts that pushed it, and mainstream media they gobbled it up. Yeah, acid reflux continuing and. Uh, Got the wrong medicine, it made it worse. Well, but the know. next day, the next day, his doctor came in and did it. And next night, we were on on stage. So, so they were on stage the next day. So really, I mean, all of this it boiled down to the fact that he has an issue. He's not twenty here. I mean, he is heavily active. There's no insult in that either. I mean, you have problems as you age. He gets the wrong medicine. I mean, he is in a foreign country here. Who knows what goes on? He ends up getting a doctor. By the next day, he's back on stage. And again, though, you have this spawn as, oh, look at all these problems. There's massive proof of X, Y, and Z. When I can tell you that that, that wasn't true. I've been saying that for a while. I checked it with sources, but it didn't matter because the narrative that was produced, oh, that's all that matters. Went right with the courtroom. Continuing. Sorry, there, there was all these rumors, all these rumors that he was dead. You know, and all this. And of course, I got on stage that night and I introduced him as the death defying Johnny Depp. <laughs> See, even Alice Cooper ends up mocking this idea. I mean, that's how crazy it is. It's not just a little bit of noise out there. This noise was resounding enough that if Alice Cooper is hearing it, of course, JD is hearing it. And they make jokes about this. But this stuff, it's supposed to damage. It's supposed to defame. And of course, it's supposed to prove those narratives saying, ultimately, oh, A.H. was right. Huh, that's a mess, isn't it? Let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how the media thing just goes overboard with things like that, eh? It's like, the guy oh, yeah, it's insane. And he's dead. It, it's insane. So you see the call out there. I mean, it's subtle there, but it tells you, again, if they're noticing it, that is messed up. And even he's saying, you know, this stuff, it's insane. And I mean, you get that anyway with people that are on tour. You know, you get big names. But J.D., I mean, he has a target on his back. And Alice Cooper, he clears up something here. It's about musicians. I'm going to bring this stuff up. I'll tell you what it means in just a minute. And, and he's a killer guitar player. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he's really a good guitar player. And when I checked out that album, I was, that was probably one of the main things I was looking at, you know, because he's the only non-real muso in the band, and he, he holds his own. He does really well. Oh, yeah, he sure does. He, in fact, he was out with Jeff Beck. I mean, you yeah. don't play with Jeff Beck unless you can play. Exactly. You know? So that was a narrative, too. There was this narrative that was being shopped. Again, you could tell that this was just vicious PR. You knew exactly who it was coming with, saying, well, He's not a musician. I mean, he doesn't have that talent there. The music, well, the band, they've taken notice. And Alice Cooper is saying, yeah, he was staying with Jeff Beck. And that's confirmed, by the way, too. He was saying, you know, hey, this is the best time that I've had. It's really, it's relaxing. I'm doing the thing that I'm passionate about. But as Alice Cooper's noting, you know, you don't do that unless you have talent there. Plus, I mean, look at the other talent that he has surrounded. 
surrounded by. Again, that decimates yet another narrative. Now, from there, you have Alice Cooper drop another bombshell on you. And this, it is very subtle, very easy to miss, but it talks about J.D.'s career. And this career is definitely on an upswing. We're talking about touring, movies, and more. But listen to what he says here. (laughs) Speaking of live shows, mate, like, is is Australia in your uh, near future plans? Oh, yeah. Australia should be next summer. Um, we, we're finishing up, uh, the American tour and then we'll take this tour out all over the world next, next year. And probably the vampires that did Europe will come to the States. So, I mean, you know, I kind of flip flop them both with the vampires. It's a little harder because Joe is with Aerosmith and they're doing their final tour. Johnny's doing movies. He's directing and, and he's in two movies coming up. And- so you notice that statement right there. I mean, he's directing and He's in two movies coming out. So, I mean, that's its own distinction there. Yeah, he's going to be directing, plus he's in a couple of movies. And you notice, I mean, in this discussion here, I mean, you really get an idea of the talent level that's surrounding the man. The talent level that, again, we were told, oh, his career is over. The band, oh, they have problems. I mean, he has these issues. He's collapsed in a hotel room. And Alice Cooper is telling you, no, that's not the case at all. He doesn't have this problem it was a minor thing we were right back out there and we're planning to tour again but we have to hit this just right let's finish up his statement and then i've got my tour so we have to like find a three-month period where we're, none of us are doing anything and, and that might be a year and a half from now you know but we have to look at that and say okay here this is our period of time and, and then we have to take advantage of that period because right after that we all go back to our other jobs Now, there's a lot more to that interview as well, but the real takeaway here for me is that we are seeing an active PR campaign orchestrated by Amber Heard and her camp. I mean, you can tell, again, you can tell where the sources of all of this are coming from that ends up being shopped as J.D. Oh, he's having problems. These problems, they mirror exactly what we said in the courtroom. Oh, that adds truth. Therefore, oh, can I have a career back when in reality you know the band they don't have any problems there they're planning on touring we're talking about somebody that is active very active out there yeah i mean this again props to alice cooper for setting that record straight i mean it demolishes everything they've been trying to say but anyway let me know what you think about this and again check out the entire thing link is in the description there ah check out our links too there are a lot of them but check them out they help the channel share this too and props to you i appreciate you being here so much you help out the channel oh man i can't not say that enough to thank you thank you for sticking with this and we will see you next time